I will say this. Welcome back. Uh, at least we had three daytimes in a row with dry conditions. Had this rain come, let's say Wednesday night versus tonight, Friday night, we would probably be looking at a much higher flooding threat. A lot of the small streams and creeks, they've all gone down. Larger rivers still rowing high. The lakes are still very high. We've got two flood warnings still out there, Onondaga and Cuga Lake. A low flooding threat, most of us, it's a half an inch to an inch of rain. Remember the last system, it was one to three inches of rain with most of us between two and three inches of rain. So this is a half an inch to an inch. We might find up to an inch and a half of rain, though, in Schuyler and Yates counties. I think it's southwest of Onondaga County, the biggest threat for any flash flooding, although it is low, according to the uh, Storms Prediction Center here. Between 8 p.m. and 2 a.m., we're going to have to watch that. I think towards Syracuse, it's closer to the midnight hour. So the neutral emoji, because a lot of the daytime's fine. It's that rain that comes in tonight. And it'll be pleasant again with slightly above normal temperatures today. Tomorrow, showers at times. There'll be significant dry periods as well. And then on Sunday, it is going to be cloudy and damp through the midday, early afternoon before things gradually start to improve. And I think by trick-or-treating, it's looking a little bit more promising for dry weather. Not completely completely 100% dry. We'll talk about it. There are some showers down to the south. The clouds first come in during the mid to late afternoon. Although if you're down in the southern tier, it's going to be an overcast day versus further to the north where you see more sunshine. This is the warm front that'll squeeze out heavy rain in Pennsylvania that shifts into central New York during the evening and overnight and then breaks up tomorrow morning. So here we are in a future cast at 11 a.m. pushing 50 or better here in Syracuse. A mix of sunshine and clouds. Those thicker clouds beginning to work in from the south. So we're turning over cast towards sunset late in the afternoon, early evening showers and through the Finger Lakes. Notice the heavy rain here that slides in towards 9, 10, 11 o'clock teeming rainfall amounts. At least it doesn't last too long. That lifts to the north and by morning it's just some scattered lighter showers, some breaks of sunshine for tomorrow again into the upper 50s. Tomorrow night more scattered showers. Sunday clouds, showers, it'll be damp into the midday and early afternoon and then gradually improving. So today's the pick day with dry weather. It's tonight the rain comes in 59 then 57 tomorrow scattered rain showers. Showers numerous Sunday morning becoming scattered in the afternoon. There still could be an isolated sprinkle or shower east of Lake Ontario in the evening. An isolated or scattered shower east of the lake on Monday. Then colder weather with a cold front on Tuesday. Scattered rain showers. Some higher elevation snow showers could mix in. I think there will be snow showers.